This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meats. Not a bad looking evening, some clouds around and can't rule out a stray shower at times, especially here through the early evening hours. Rain chances decrease overnight into tomorrow, uh, but don't be surprised to see a shower around tonight. We've already seen some here late this afternoon, some late day storms tomorrow. It's going to turn windy Wednesday and Thursday, but uh, then things look wet again for Easter Sunday. 66 yesterday and 28 for a low, about normal for this time of year. Nothing in the rain gauge uh, up to uh, a third of an inch is all for the month. So we're about a half an inch shy of normal, uh, eight tenths above normal for the year still here though across the region. We've certainly eaten into a lot of that surplus. We've had some warm temperatures just to our southeast today. 70 at Lyman, near 80 at Goodland. It is 80 in McCook right now, 74 in North Platte. Contrast that with 54 in North Platte and 46 in Watertown. 52 right now in Rapid City. Laramie checks in at 51. Here in our region, 70 in Ogallala, 54 in Valentine, 53 in Gordon. It's 52 up in Lusk, some low 60s to mid 60s across the rest of the region. Winds out of the northwest uh, time, so making it feel a little cooler. And certainly those clouds are not helping either. Nothing to worry about in terms of watches, warnings, or advisories. So we'll jump right into our forecast here for this evening. Some winds overhead, a few off and on hit or miss showers throughout the evening. Can't rule a couple of those out. They're going to be spotty at best. And uh, temperatures tonight going to fall only into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. A very mild evening out there. Uh, so certainly anything that falls will be in the form of rain tomorrow. We start the day cloudy. We end the day cloudy. We're going to bring in some winds out of the southeast at times. Then switching a little more to the southwest, pushing a little moisture across here. And again, some late day showers and rumbles of thunder possible across the region. Certainly not everybody's going to get wet. And our chances of widespread rain have decreased a lot over the last 48 hours with most of the models. Tomorrow, we're going to be in the low to mid 60s out there. Precip, not much. A little stripe here or two, uh, which means it's going to be very hit or miss. You might get a couple of hundreds if you end up under one of those isolated scattered rain showers. Otherwise, you might end up uh, dry. Ultimately, it just depends on whether or not you can get under one of those. A few showers tonight, 40 for a low, about a 50% chance of rain tomorrow. Can't rule out some afternoon thunderstorms. 66, it's going to be a cloudy kind of a day tomorrow. And then we're going to stay cloudy Wednesday into Thursday, but we've pretty much dropped our rain chances. Uh, and we're just going to call it downright windy with high temps in the low 60s. Look at his rebound for Good Friday. It's 75. Saturday, maybe above 80. But some late day showers come in on Saturday and into Easter Sunday. Highs only in the low to mid 50s. We'll rebound to near 60 by Monday of next week. Certainly a stronger storm system looks like it may be on the way for Easter Sunday.